we're getting ready to head to Leota, 6 a.m. We're all packed up. Don't know where we're staying. So it's a fall color run. It's kind of cold and rainy. Figure it out on the Off-roading in Leota, Michigan during the fall. It doesn't get much better than this. Come along with us for some beautiful sights, great people, and just a lot of fun. We're hoping to meet up with a group. At the worst, we'll sleep in the car. We throw a mattress in there, pillows, so a couple sleeping bags. We kind of laugh. So we put a futon mattress in the back of our car. So we'll sleep in there if we have to at a campground because we're only going for one night, hoping to ride for two days. But um, if we have to, we'll sleep in our car at a campground so we don't feel like setting up the tent in the 50 degree and it's supposed to rain. At least it's raining here all day there. It's supposed to stop. So we're kind of ready to go. I'm excited though, it's gonna be fun. Hopefully we meet up with the, this uh, Facebook group and do some riding together in Leota. Yeah, let's go. Good morning, we stopped at Jack Pine Diner in Harrison for breakfast, it looks really good. <laughs> See, they got the... I got the western omelet and a half side of biscuits and gravy, and then I've got the meat lovers omelet. Got a meat lovers omelet. Let's see how they are. We'll be at uh, in Leota within the next half hour. We just had a good meal at Jack Pine Restaurant in Harrison, Michigan. We're about 10 to 15 minutes outside of Leota. Getting ready to go join the group, do some riding. See you soon. <laughs> We're pretty excited because it's been raining here for about two weeks for the most part, a lot. And if you look out here now, it rained for the last 24 hours. And now the rain's just breaking. It's about 9.30 in the morning and everything should be soaked. There should be puddles and mud and everything. So the riding today should be excellent. All right, we're here at Leota Lodge Motel. They had no openings. And so they just said, um, go park back over here by the pole barn. If we need to, we'll stay. If there's a cancellation, they'll let us know. Um, people have been really nice. We just met, they're over there. If you can see in the background, that's Steve and his wife, Sue, from the Michigan 50 inch trail quarters Facebook page. So we're gonna try to hook up with all these guys and do a ride today. The Leota Lodge is all filled up. This is it here. Little hangout spot. I believe those are showers, haven't looked yet. So they got us parked right here. <laughs> kind of off the road we're gonna unload and we're gonna go join a ride and they told us if we have to we'll stay here so we'll figure that out we're we're equipped to stay in our car we got a mattress in there and we're ready to go time to unload these things and, and get ready Leota Lodge there's the 50 inch trail quad riders uh, building up right there to our left there's the lodge right across the street trails and pit stop Nice little store. I know they have pizza and stuff in here. We just filled up with wreck gas, um, trails and pit stops. So right across the street, nice little spot. And then if you go right down the road there, there will be the trailhead. We're gonna go meet up with the group now. Uh, go ride with them for a bit, have some fun today. Come along. So I'm Dirty Jack, I'm here meeting Steve, Steve and Sue Perkowski. We're getting gas, getting ready to go on a ride. So just wanted to kind of get us right as they're fueling up. We're fueling up here. There's the dusty bean back there. We're getting ready to go out for a ride. Got a little group going, but excited to meet everybody here. Uh, can't wait to see what this day holds. So we're riding to the trailhead here in Leota. Here in Leota Trailhead. All right, we're here at the Dolph Bridge. The one they're working on, supposed to be ready for hunting season. We're in mid-October, so they got a month. So you can see there, I guess there's workers running around across the, those planks there, going to the other side and back. There's the river. So far it's shaping up to be a pretty better, nicer day than I thought it would be. Here's 
guarantee of moving a branch. again. Ah, the group stops along the Muskegon River to enjoy the sights. It just doesn't get any better than this fall in Leota, Michigan. Riding around here, the older trails would come on this huge open play area. This is just on the other side of the bridge on the parking lot. And then we got all that coming in is a lot of this. And we're all parked right here alongside the river. And you can see, you get right alongside of it. So how cool is that? We're told people kayak and swim and all that kind of fun stuff here in the summertime. It's a beautiful day, but it's not definitely not swimming weather today, but you can see just how clear the water is too. So again, we're just down the river, just outside of the parking lot, trailhead. There's Steve and Sue. back into the trailhead. Just had dinner, Trails and Pub in Leota. There it is. Here we go, this is where we're sleeping tonight. So I wanna see if I can get in here and kind of show you. Sleeping in the back of our car, we got a mattress down. This is better than our tent. So we, we, we took a futon mattress and put it down and we got our sleeping bags and our pillows and all of our stuff. And we got a bunch of people we're riding with right next to us, they happened to get hotel rooms. We came last minute and didn't, um, but we really wanted to ride without everybody here. So. Um, we're pretty happy about this and we'll see how our sleep is. We'll check in with you in the morning. Here we go. We're kind of excited though, huh? I'm excited. Thank you. We're here in the Leota Lodge. We slept in our car last night. They didn't have any rooms and we were riding with the, the group here on Facebook and one of them let us use their kitchenette to make our coffee in the morning. So we're doing pretty good. <laughs> that helps make the whole day. But thank you, Steve and Susan. Thank you. All right, we're getting ready to go for a ride today. We just went over to the trail and pit stop. And inside there, they got pizza. They got freshly made a lot of food in there, believe it or not. It's a gas station. Um, they have drinks. They have odds and ends you would need. So we just went in there and got some cinnamon rolls. And we're kind of snacking on them before we go riding. Um, we just filled up our quads with gas. Yeah, if we can, but we're going to do this. 
go for a bit of riding today and hopefully meet up with the group again. And, and there's our tent. <laughs> by the way, we slept in our car last night because everything was booked and we had a mattress in here. It really wasn't so bad. Um, I snoozed. Tina's Dusty Bean slept great. <laughs> and um, we're getting ready to go out for a ride before we head home. So we're here at Leota Lodge in Leota. Tina the Dusty Bean. There's Steve. Sue, thank you for breakfast, Steve and Sue. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> So we had our coffee pot plugged in their room. And here's the owner of the Leota Lodge. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Tracy. There's Tracy and Tina, the Dusty Bean. Just wanted to thank everybody for their kindness this weekend and some other friends that we made. We're having a good time. Looks like we're going to ride again today and uh, have a nice, nice weekend. All right, heading out of Leota Lodge. Right when you come out to the main road here, there's the Trails End Pit Stop. We just fueled up, got a little bit of food out of there. You go down this road for maybe about five minutes, and you're at the trailhead pretty much. There's the Leota Orby Trail parking lot down to the left. So just coming out of the Leota Trailhead, in multiple different ways, we're going over the bridge. It's always fun to go over the bridge. There's the bridge. Awesome river. Say hi to the dusty bee. There's a nice spot. Nice high bank. We'll go down to the next one. We're riding along the trail. Just hit, you know, along a spot where it was a high bank a minute ago. We just followed the trail around and kind of hit another one. It's one of my favorite spots. All the trails here, so there's been a lot of people out, but I haven't really seen them. Hey guys, one of our favorite spots on Leota Trails. You have a river that runs through almost the whole trail system, and you got these high banks. It's just really, really beautiful. Pretty. Really nice out today. It's a little bit chilly, but the sun's peeking its head, so it's kind of nice and sunny. Yep, nice ride, and it's a Sunday, the crowds are down, and we're just kind of trying to enjoy um, getting out on the trail, seeing some colors, and then we just wanted to really show you these high banks, as what we call them. They're all over the place on this trail system. We just passed one about five minutes ago, we're on another, and as we ride throughout the day, we'll c come across more and more and more. And we're in Leota. Leota, Michigan. Excellent off-roading here for everybody. We're here just enjoying the sights. Just getting out in the nature and all over this river, all of a sudden you get these high banks of sand, dusty beans just enjoying the views. It's just beautiful nature here. The trails are nice, the river's nice. There's plenty to do around here. We have met some great other off-roaders this weekend as well. Every single one of them has just been uh, wonderful to meet. It's been fun. I'm trying to figure out how I can camp right there. Put my tent up on that little patch of grass. She wants to camp on a river so bad. Yeah. We kind of just did yep. in Sturgeon River, but we weren't right on it. Put your kayaks right here and paddle upstream and float back after dinner. It'll be fun. If we ever wanted to stop and push our reset button, the high banks of the Muskegon River is a nice place to do it. The river, the off-road trails, the beautiful colors during fall season are just hard to beat.
that section of trails right there. They're all 50 inch or less. There's a lot of elevation change and they're just simply gorgeous. If you're an off-roader and you love riding these types of trails, pay special attention to the next few sections. We show exactly where they are and they're a must-see if you're in the area. when the colors are popping. Coming in from a clear cut, we've got some nice colors. Goes right uphill. It's always a fun little ride. Beautiful out. So this trail is not even in my Magellan system. But there's signs for it and everything, so it might be a new ad since this thing came out. And just, this is an old Magellan. I got a new one coming, actually. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, man. So nice. Not sure which way I was supposed to go there. connector we were just on leads to these trails these are marked so I had a little connector we just used to get to these trails that that connector wasn't marked into our system but these are but the funny thing is there's been tons of tracks everywhere oh there's tracks there all right well that's that's cool. Wow, let me know if you're showing just hills all through here. This is a little sliver of Leota's trails we've never done. So we're on a mission today to just go ride trails we haven't been on. That's the whole point. I'm gonna have to turn around and come back up this hill. This is a really good size hill. Wow. I almost marked this, oh no. Well, they got a bypass. They got a bypass. I got a saw too. I can cut that one. Make sure the dusty bean's all right. Yep, she is. So we were just riding right from here. And then right here, I wanted to really point that out. Right here's a nice hilly little section. We're sitting at this number four. I wanted to show just how well these trails are marked. So here's the number four here. If you go over this way, this is telling us that we're there with our four. And look at just how beautiful this is. But then this kind of just tells you each way the trails will go from there. You want to take trail three. We just came from trail 11, which was awesome. You can almost tell by looking at it here. It starts to go up and it gets pretty hilly. Trail five is over there. And then we got trail five. So we noticed a lot of these intersections, they're marked very well. You know, very well groomed for the most part. It's just, it's been a fantastic riding. The colors are starting to pop. We can see up there. So it's just a little stop. There's like a bench type of thing here. And then we're in thick woods. You can see just how beautiful it is here. Leota has a ton of great riding. That's kind of what you see people doing. Look at the colors. Fantastic trail. And here's the sign we've been looking for. Six straight, 11 to the right. Sign number five. Beautiful here. Trail 11, coming off the post five. Let's check this out. Pretty cool 
we got a nice drop off down there. We're gonna go down. Not huge, but this has been, you know, a nice little set of rolling hills on some of these trails. Nice. Been going up really slow. We get a little hill here. Nice hills in this whole section. Beautiful colors. Good day for riding. It's a good day. So that's what we're coming out of. And then we'll pan you around. You look, it goes way up over there. It's really cool. We're going to get ready to go down the hill. It's just really colorful and nice today been beautiful. Wow. It's a pretty tough spot right here. Pretty tough spot. Just gotta take your time at other camera shows, but this is one of the things we talk about with a well-balanced machine is when you're really gonna be leaning one side and you gotta have your tire kind of hanging on the other to keep you level. We're cruising along. We saw that big uh, group of dirt bikers and one of them fell behind and we hope his spark plugs plugged. So we just helped him change his spark plug out. We happen to have a, the players which were able to do it. Now he's getting ready to kick it over and we're crossing our fingers for him that it starts. So he's gonna go down the hill and hopefully just pop it into first and get a, get it started that way. It wasn't kicking over, we just changed the plug. Um, he's reunited back with his group, so that's good. So it worked. So we did a push start down the hill. Do you want us to go around? All right. And you gotta run it. are popping, trails are great, weather's nice, mid 50s, sun's popping in and out, beautiful fall day. Just coming over the bridge, and there is the Leota parking lot. Hey, there's that group we saw earlier. Sunday. See people in here, but we didn't see anybody really on the crowd on the trails. We'd like to say too, thank you to Steve, Sue, and Tracy. Yes, thank you all. You made our weekend awesome. Everybody we met and rode with, we had a great time. Rode with some really cool machines. There's a Honda in the group, a Can Am. Uh, great people, just a lot of fun. Thank you all, and we hope we could do it again sometime. Hope we meet some more of the group, uh, Facebook group that Steve has. That's the Michigan Quad 50 inch or less trail riders. A great time and a good group of people. We're all packed up from the Leota Lodge, getting ready to head home. We had a great weekend, met a lot of great people, ton of fun, beautiful area. We had a blast, made some new friends, saw some beautiful sights. The fall colors were in full form. It was a great weekend. Sleeping in the truck wasn't even so bad. Nope, we slept in the truck because we were only going to be here one day. So now we figured it's time to go. Time to leave the Leota Lodge and the beautiful trails and colors. Until the next time, guys. Thanks for joining us.